familia ya, ya marehemu Simon Kaveria Mtuamburi waziri wetu wa kilimo medical nturi viongozi wetu wa bunge na maseneta ndugu yangu mjumbe wetu wa hapa Tigani ya East Mburu Mtuamburi na wale wote ambaye wamefika familia marafiki na watu wa hapa Mikinduri Andu wetu mugeni Mugeni kairi Mulia gadu waitu Mulia gariki Gaini muega Na hindi shio ve Nisalimiani kwa haya mwadha ni ya gosho Referent father wetu Nataka kutoa shukurani kwenu kwa kutukubalia nafasi ya kusalimia hawa ubelezaji katika hii hafla ya kumwaga huyu dugu yetu Simon ambaye ni dugu yake mkubwa ya huyu mheshimiwa wetu wa hapa Tanzania East sisi ni mandugu na ni marafiki na sana sana watu wa hapa Meru mimi nikiwa mmoja wenu kwa sababu mamangu alitoka hapa Kibrecha akaenda akaolewa Nyeri mimi ni mtoto wa hapa Meru na sisi watu ya Meru tunapendana na wakati ya majonzi ni desturi zetu na tabia zetu na utamaduni wetu kuja pamoja kuombeleza na jamii na kulete maombi na kuja na kitambaa ya kupunguza wale wameifiwa machozi kwa hivyo nataka nishukuru kanisa na wale wote ambao wamesimama na hii jamii ya mheshimiwa mburu wa mtu wa mburi wakati huu mngumu mimi nimekuja na risala ya rabirambi kutoka kiongozi wetu wa taifa daktari William Samoe Ruto ametuma niseme pole kwa mheshimiwa na family yenu yote na isipokuwa ako siara ya maendeleo nje angekuwa na sisi lakini amenituma ni mwakilishi. Pia mimi nimekuja kwa niaba ya mke wangu na watoto wangu kuungana na hii familia. Kusema pole na kuja kumsindikisha huyu ndugu wetu kwa ile heshima ambaye inastahili. Sisi ni watu moja na sisi viongozi tunapendana. Na hata kama tunakuanga na tofauti zetu za kisiasa za vyama za maono ikifika pahali ya majonzi tunaweka hizo tofauti kando tunasimama na yule ambaye ameifiwa na ndio tumekuja kusimama na huyu ndugu wetu ambaye mlimchagua na ambaye kwa kupima kwangu na kushuhudia anaendesha kazi vizuri hapa katika Tigani ya East Mimi sitaki niseme mambo mengi ni yangu tu ni kusema katika yale maneno ambaye mheshimiwa ametaja tuko na hii barabara ya Mekindori Kunati na Tidhine Road ambaye rais wetu kiongozi wetu wa taifa alikuja kuanzisha mwaka 2016 akiwa naibu wa rais lakini yule alipewa kadarasi akakuwa ni muzembe ni wale watu ambaye hata wakipewa kazi ni watu bure. Dani ya mwaka saba mwaka nane, amekwama na wananchi hao watigani ya East wameumia. Mjumbe wenu ametuomba kupitia kwa rais na mimi ya kwamba tuweze kumuondoa huyu mwenye kadarasi kwa sababu ameshindwa na tuweze kulete contractor ambaye ako na record ya kufanya kazi inaonekana na imekamilika na kwa hivyo tumemfukuza na kandarasi hiyo imetangazwa tunatafuta contractor mwenye umaarufu ambaye ako na proven track record ya kujenga barabara na kumaliza kwa hivyo mimi naomba subra mkuu wa fumilivu kwa muda mchache ambaye contractor atakuja na hiyo barabara hivi karibuni 
itakamilika na ikisha kamilika rais wetu William Ruto atakuja kuifungua rasmi ya pili mheshimiwa ameomba mambo ya tigani ya East KMTC amesema weka milioni 30 ya CDF shamba liko lakini iko matatizo pale kwa ofisi kazi yangu kwa hii serikali ni kumsaidia rais kukuamua pahali vitu vimekwama kwa sababu watu ya serikali saa ingine wako na mambo mingi wanakuamisha maneno kwa hivyo wewe mheshimiwa zika dugu yako ujipe wiki mbili utulize roho yako ukishatoa ukishapoa ukuje Nairobi kwa ofisi yangu niite hawa jamaa tufungue hiyo maneno tuweze kuendelea pia naibu governor ameongea mambo ya Igembe campus ya Chuka University ambayo imezungumziwa sana kwa muda mrefu ningetaka hao viongozi wakuje wote tuketi chini ndio niweze kumuita waziri wetu wa elimu na principal secretary wa higher education ndio tujue ni wapi tumekwama again tutatue tuweze kusonga mbele mambo ya Mikidore Stadium ni kweli tulituma PS wetu hapa ambaye baadaye alienda pale kwa livestock development anaitwa Mweke na akaleta ripoti ya yale mambo inataka na ifanywe katika zile stadium tumepangia ambayo ni mingi katika Jamhuri ya Kenya ambaye sasa tunaweka pesa ya sports fund na ingine kwa budget ndani ya hizo stadium ambaye tutaunda vizuri sikuwe ni stadium za kisasa ni stadium yenu ya Mikindori Mshowe nimepita hii shule ya Mikindori Girls na wasichana wakanikaribisha vizuri na wakanipatia nafasi ya ndege yetu kutua hapo na tukashukuru sana na nimeweza kuwasiliana na hao wasichana wetu na mwalimu mkuu na ni kweli wamenialifu ya kwamba iko shida ya mabweni ya kulala hao wasichana wetu na ile nyumba ya kupata chakula dining hall na tumeongea na mwalimu tumekubaliana nitakaa chini na huyu ndugu yangu e, mpuru mtu wa mburi tuandae harabe moja kubwa ambaye mimi mwenyewe nitatavuta viongozi na wafanyabiashara tukuje tuchange hiyo pesa lakini tukingoja hiyo tumekubaliana serikali itatoa pesa ya kuanzisha shilingi milioni kumi kazi iendelee tukija kufanya harambe ya mwisho referred father ni kweli mlikuwa na kazi pale kwa shrine na sikuweza kufika nikatoa mchango wangu kupitia huyu mheshimiwa wetu kakuya huyu wa embakasi north na wakaweza kufika pale na tukaungana na wakristo wengine na mkaweza kumaliza hiyo shrine na nimejulishwa na father tulipoketi pale ya kwamba mmekwama mambo ya viti ile inatengenezwa pale sagana ya hardwood viti zaidi ya arobaini ndio hiyo shrine yetu iweze kukaa vizuri mimi sichoki kufanya kazi ya Mungu mimi ndio nikuwa naibu rais nilikuwa tu mbunge ni kwa sababu ya baraka ya Mwenyezi Mungu kupitia kasi yangu kanisani mimi sijasikia maisha ni mwangu mtu amekuwa maskini kwa sababu ya kutoa katika nyumba la Mungu kama iko mtu hapa tigani ya East amekuwa maskini kwa kusaidia nyumba ya Mungu mnieleze nijue mimi napenda sana na pia mkubwa wangu rais William Ruto tunasaidiana sana kwa mambo ya kanisa kwa hivyo kwa sababu nimefika hapa na kwa heshima ya huyu marehemu Simon ambaye amekuja kuletwa hapa kanisani na kwa sababu nimefika father ameniuliza niweze kusaidia mheshimiwa mtu wa mburi nitatoa pesa ya kununua hizo fomu shilingi milioni moja mununua hizo fomu ndio hiyo shrine yetu iweze kukaa sawa sawa nikimalizia sisi watu ya Meru na watu ya hapa mlima Kenya tuko na shukurani kubwa sana 
kwa rais wetu William Ruto kwa yale ambayo ametufanyia. Sisi tulimuunga rais mkono mia kwa mia. Na tukiwa na matarajio ya kwamba vile tulikuwa na mafikiano na yeye tutapata usaidizi wa maendeleo na pia watoto wetu watashirikishwa katika serikali yake. Na rais alitupatia huyu Mithika Lenturi kama waziri wetu wa kilimo tunasema asante sana kwa rais wetu. Huyu PS kijana wenu kutoka hapa Tigania, huyu Kilemi ni, wa, ni, wazi, ni PS wetu katika State Department ya Cooperatives. Ametoka hapa Tigania na tunataka kumwambia rais asante na mimi watu ya Tigania ni muhakikishie. Huyu kijana mlitupatia ni kiongozi mzuri na ananisaidia sana. Tunasaidiana naye sana pale na waziri wake anaitwa Simon Chalugui katika kazi ya kuleta mabadiliko kwa sekta ya kahawa. Na wewe kilemi kanyangia hapo. Mbele iko sawa. Kwa hivyo mimi ni sema pia hapa Tigani ya East rais aliweza kumpatia mjumbe aliyopokuwa hapo mbele bwana Gichunge Kabeabea akakuwa chairman wetu pale kwa Counterfeit Authority tunamwambia rais asante hivi karibuni kufuatilia maagano ya watu wa Meru na rais William Ruto siku tulikuwa tunafanya campaign hapa Igembe na Tigania tulipata watu ya Igembe na watu ya Tigania ni wakulima ya mira sio ni kweli na wanakuwa wamewachiliwa kwa mambo ya kutafuta soko tukakubaliana na rais wetu na watu ya Igembe na watu ya Tigania njia moja ya kutafuta soko ya miraa ni kuhusisha wameru wenye kulima miraa kwa sababu hao ndio wanaelewa mambo ya miraa kuna wengine wanaharibu sifa ya miraa wanasema ni dawa za kulevia miraa pana dawa ya kulevia ni e, ukulima wa kutafuta mali kama ukulima mwingine wa kahawa na majani chai na dio rais akatoa ahadi kwa watu ya Igembe na watu ya Tigania ya kwamba Mungu akimsaidia kupitia kura zenu apate nafasi ya uongozi katika Jamhuri ya Kenya kama rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya njia moja ya kusaidia wakulima wa miraa ni kutafuta mmoja wao ampatie kiti cha balozi katika ile nchi ambaye inatumia miraa aende huko atavutie watu ya Meru soko ya miraa siku iliyopita siku ya Aramisi rais ametimiza ahadi yake amemteua bwana mheshimiwa Kiringo Kubai kama waziri kama kama balozi wa Kenya nchi ya Somalia sasa wewe balozi kazi kwako enda hapo Somalia utafute soko ya mera uletea wa Meru mimi na rais tumeondoka kwa hiyo maneno sasa wewe utuambie pale umekoma tukusaidie si ndio ilikuwa magano yetu na watu ya Tigania na Igembe si rais ametimiza hadi hajatimiza tumpigie rais makofi this kiringo honorable kiringo kubai in ful fulfilling the promise to the people of Meru by president william ruto that if elected president he shall appoint one of the sons of Meru who is a mera farmer and who understands the mera industry to be their basinda to a mera consuming country to go and market the mera crop the president being the gentleman he is has fulfilled that promise and appointed the honorable by Keringo as Kenyan ambassador to the Republic of Somalia please sit down na bado nafasi kwa rais iko tu na ngana tu najua niko pale angalia hapa 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 tunaendelea and more is coming na hapa mimi pia nimefurahi kwa hii familia kukuta rafiki yangu tulifanya kazi na yeye huyu Naftali Mungadia huyu tulifanya kazi na yeye kama madio alikuwa division inaitwa Lari na mimi division inaitwa Kiamba neighboring divisions hapo Kiambu he is a good man ame rais mpaka kuwa regional commissioner pale Nyeri 
amekuja kustaafu akiwa pale kwa ministry ya uchukuzi and i'm happy to see you and when you get time kuja tukunywe chai tuongee kidogo si tunaweza mpaka pahali tukimpaka pahali kwa makosa si ni mtoto wenu na anajua kazi i can testify because we worked with him we were wearing the same uniform the same time sit down after and i'm very happy to see you and um, mimi niseme nikimalizia many people have a problem with our region i don't know why mimi when i speak i don't have a voice of my own i listen to the people and when we made a decision to support president william ruto is because we listen to the ground and the ground was for william samoy ruto and we aligned ourselves with the ground now for the first time since the year 2002 watu wa mlima kenya tulienda uchaguzi kama tumegawanyika in the year 2002 tulipiga kura kwa kikapu moja tukapigia rais mustafu waikebaki mwaka wa 2007 tukapiga kura moja debe moja tukamrudisha rais mustafu marehemu waikebaki mwaka wa 2013 watu ya mlima kenya tukaungana tuamani tukapiga kura saduku moja tukapigia rais mustafu wa nne mheshimiwa uru kenyata mwaka wa 2017 once more tukaungana tena tuamani tukapiga kura moja kwa debe moja tukamrudisha rais uhuru kenyata mwaka wa 2022 tukawanyika we were divided as a region one faction led by president uhuru kenyata ikasema itaenda kwa mzee yule raila odinga another function iliongozwa na mimi tukasema twende kwa rais william ruto tulipoenda kwa ndebe tukagawanyika watu ya mlima kenya the majority wakanifuata tukapigia rais william ruto 87% nayo 13% wakafuata rais uhuru kenyata wakapiga kura 13% ikapotea na ile mzee ya kupotea sasa mimi nime kalishwa nimeketishwa chini na wazee nimeketishwa chini na watu ya kanisa nimeketishwa chini na wale watu wamechaguliwa na wameniamrisha na mimi ni mtu ya kusikia because i listen to the people mimi ni kiongozi ambaye anaheshimu maoni ya wananchi wa viongozi wote ya mount kenya region viongozi wa dini wafanyabiashara wameniambia Bwana Deputy President for now you are the senior most leader in this region this is what we want you to do we don't want to go to any other election divided the way we were in 2022 na wameniambia nitafute 13% ambaye ilikuwa imeenda pale ni ilete yote to 100% behind president william ruto so that never again will this region be divided in voting for a president never again will this region be divided in pursuing our economic interest never again will this region be divided in pursuing our commercial interest na kwa hivyo wakaniambia uchaguzi umeisha tafuta hii watu yote na nimefurahi ndugu yangu you have said the same wale wote walikuwa kwa azimio the election is over president william ruto is the president this region wants to support president william ruto for 10 years and they would like to support him to be president in 2027 when they are united as a region na mimi nimesamuli nimekubali and i have started that journey of uniting the mount kenya region behind president william ruto i don't know why many people have a problem when this region is united in purpose 
Many people, for whatever reason, are very uncomfortable. But I'm sorry there is nothing they can do. I'm sorry for their discomfort. When I said on Friday that I'm going to reach out to all leaders in Azimio and reach out to businessmen, reach out to everybody to unite the Mount Kenya region behind President William Bruto. I have seen a lot of narratives, a lot of interpretation, a lot of false, uh, a lot of false conclusions by people who do not like us to be united. And I don't understand Mweshmiwa Linturi. Two weeks ago, I saw our brothers and our friends in the Western Kenya region calling for unity of the region. I did not see the newspapers write headlines and reading mischief in that call for unity. I didn't see them trying to interpret what it means. But any time we have called for the unity of this region, a lot of people cannot sleep. You have seen screaming headlines saying that there are problems because simply we have called for unity. But I want to tell them that is not my decision. It is the decision of the Mount Kenya region that has instructed me instructions that I will follow to the letter to do whatever is within my power and ability to reach out to everybody and unite the Mount Kenya region behind President William Ruto. That I'll do. I'm equal to the task and I've already started. Nimesema watu wetu wale walipotea hata ile maoka maure nitamtafuta ile mtu mfupi. Nimtafute? Hata huyu Peter Munya si mtoto wetu? Si mtoto wetu? It's no problem. Those who are willing to unite for this region. Peter Munya I'll reach him out. Maoka maule I'll reach him out. The elections are over. There are no elections. Elections were fought and won and lost. President William Ruto is the president of Kenya. The other one is the leader of the opposition. So, who voted here or there is no longer important. What is important is the unity of purpose of this region so that we can support President William Ruto to a man because he means well for this region. And that we shall do. So the detractors of this region the people who wishes this region well, but you can continue doing your analysis. You can continue writing headlines. Every day, that will not distract me and the leadership of this region to work towards the unity of purpose for the benefit of the people of this region. And I said the other time, when we came here with the president, mulikuwa mnalalamika sana. Mukasema sisi tunapiganga kura tukiwa watu ya mlima. Uchaguzi ukiisha ile mlima inarudishwa pale inakuwa ni west na east. Nikahakikishia nyinyi mukipigia rais William kura rais William Ruto kura na mimi. Hiyo mlima ya katikati hakuna tena. Na ndio tukaingia hapa katika Meru County tukateua waziri Mithi kalentori. Tukaenda hapo, taraka nithi, tukateua Professor Kithure Kendiki, ambaye nafanya kazi nzuri sana. Tukatoka hapo, tukaenda ebu, tukachagua Justin Muturi. Tukarundi hapa Meru, tukachagua Jaffet Kome kama Inspector General of Police. Tukarundi hapa Meru, tuko na PS wawili. Tukaenda hapo, taraka, tuko na PS. Hapo ebu, tuko na PS. The Mount Kenya East for the first time in the political history of this country. And I will not allow, under my leadership, a division in between Mount Kenya East and West. The mountain is one. Na iyo mulima ni yetu, tunaipenda, tunayelewa. Na watu ya Mount Kenya wa East and West will be united in purpose as one. Na mimi sina tashwishi. Ya kwamba kiongozi wetu Rais William Ruto anatutakia mema, ametuangalia vizuri, tuko na nafasi nzuri 
ya kupata maendeleo ya kutosha katika mlima Kenya only when we are united behind him so that come 2027 we won the last election with only 200,000 votes if this mountain had been united ile kura 1600 ilipotea huko mstuni kwa mzee ile ya kuzamia ingekuwa yetu the president would have won with a landslide of almost 800,000 votes it is my intention working with the leaders of this region working with the business community working with our elders wazee wanjuri jeke wazee wa kiama kiama wazee wote vijana professionals i want this region to deliver a decisive vote for president william ruto in 2027 and to make sure that we increase our shareholding in his government from 47% to almost 60%. Many people are uncomfortable about our shareholding. Nikidogo is only 47. 27 tutaiongeza itakuwa mingi zaidi. Mnataka tuongeze ama tupunguze? Tuongeze ama tupunguze? That we shall do. And an election is a deliberate thing. It's by choice. Sisi tulijipanga na Rais William Ruto. Kama hakujipanga na yeye, mbona mnatulaumu? We had choices. Rais William Ruto alikuwa pale, Raila alikuwa pale. Sisi tukaamua. Sasa tukiwa kwa hiyo serikali tuko wengi, mnalia kwa nini? Nyinyi kama mmebadilika, mujipange, mkuje uchaguzi ikifika, muongeze zenu, tuongeze zetu, Rais apite vizuri. But we have no apologies to make for our decision to invest in President William Ruto, we think and we believe that we made the right decision and we are happy with what is going on so far. And we have every intention to increase our support to the president and the government. And that we can only do when we are united in purpose. Much as I try to unite the mountain and we are going to succeed, I urge the people of Meru also try also to seek for unity in this county mujaribu pia kuungana na kuongea na sauti moja so that mukija pale na zile county zingine 11 tuungane once we have succeeded and we are going to succeed is uniting the region now we join the president in uniting with the rest of the regions the president has done well and he should continue reaching out to other kenyans for national unity but we in the mountain, because we were not won in the last election, we have some work to do. Before we embrace other regions and unite for the sake of the country, we want first to put our house in order so that as a united region, we can now reach out and join the president in uniting the rest of Kenya so that Kenya can be one as a country. <laughs> Adwati gani? Mimi nataka niseme asanti kwa zile kura mlipatia rais na mimi. Nyinyi mlitupatia 76% ya kura. Ile 24 mkatupa huko mstuni kwa ile mzee. Sasa hiyo 24 ndio mimi ninataka tafuta. Hiyo 24% na ile mlitupatia 76 we got 35,000 votes here. Mzee akuzimia akapata 10,000. Hiyo 1,010 hiyo. Ndio tumeketi na huyu amburi. Na wewe amburi ni rafiki yangu. Siku ingine hapa anapeleka hii watiganya mstuni. Tumekubaliana? Si tumefanya mzuri kumkaribisha nyumbani? Sasa mheshimiwa wenu ako ndani ya serikali tunafanya kazi pamoja. So hatutaki yeye siku ingine kupeleka watu yatiganya hii mstuni wapotee huko. Wacha tuweke hii watiganya kwa serikali. Sasa umeona nimekuja mmeanza kupata maendeleo. Sasa ile watu mstuni ukatoa wapi? Wenyewe wanalia wakiwa mstuni. Hawezaidia watu yatigania so we boro mtu wa mburi we ni kiongozi shupavu. I want to urge you you come. We work together with the rest of leaders in Meru in the Mount Kenya region. We unify our people for a common purpose, for common interest behind President William Ruto. Na pale mbele tutakuja kufaidika 
na tunaweza kupata maendeleo. Kwa hivyo mimi nimeshukuru sana sana. Kwa hiyo adwai tu ndio mshokeria gabo. Nula mwatu ikira na president ni mwatu ikira wega. Eh? Na twalio horo wa matuti yale hado hega. Tani dale hado hashake muno. Eh? Tutikano gano gushokia gabo adwai tu ni mwatu ikira wega. Kwa hiyo adwa tigania adwa mekiduli kuma goro ya kwa 